Hello, hello. Welcome in or welcome back. As you saw from the thumbnail and title, we're doing another little something different today and expanding our adventure of starting new collections. So today we're doing new jeans. I'm super excited to start this collection. I think that it's very intriguing the way that they do um, photo cards and collectibles in their album. Um, it kind of, uh, I don't know, invigorated me to really dive in to collecting them. Um, so I'm super excited for this. I don't know how long this video will be. Um, so if it's super, super long, I'll break it into multiple parts. But basically what I did was buy every single one of their albums, um, barring their first EP bag album limited version. I only bought one of those, um, even though there are three, but all the inclusions are the same for all three of them. So I only needed to buy one in order to get the cards. Um, for new jeans, I will be collecting, for now, OT5 album only. If certain lucky draws or pre-order benefits draw my attention, I might buy some one-offs, but for now, it's really just an album focus. So, let's go ahead and do an unboxing. I think in this video, honestly, there will be less talking than my other videos, simply for time purposes. Um, I thought it would be a nice idea to kind of just unbox every album of theirs for anyone who's interested in starting this kind of collection and wants to see everything all together in one place to decide what they want to collect and just see how everything stacks up. Um, so yes, less talking, more unboxing, let's go. All right, first and foremost, we have their bag version. I bought the red bag with the white stitching on it. Um, there's also a black one with colorful stitching and a green lining and a white one with colorful stitching and green lining. Can I open it from here? Yes. Um, I picked the red one because it's very minimalistic in its colorway and that appeals to me and my personal style the most. Next we'll do the Weverse album version. I did go ahead and take all of the, um, <laughs> like the wrapping off just because it's kind of loud on the mic and it cuts down on time. So let's go ahead and take a peek at this.
next I'll do all versions of their large blue book. Um, I'll start with new jeans version and then I will go down through age order. Um, I will do, again, just sped up flip throughs of all of the contents, um, uh, minimal talking. I will note I ordered this as a full set of six um, versus like one-offs on Weavers and most of them are in pretty good condition. This kind of surprised me <laughs> when I took the wrapping off. Uh, most of them are in pretty good condition, but a couple of them are a bit like bowed out and creased on um, the spine, simply because they were all stacked on top of each other in shipping, and there was a lot of weight uh, for the ones that were on the bottom. They got banged around a little bit. Just something to keep in mind if you were looking to buy these as a set. Um, that may happen. It may not. They did travel pretty far to get to me, so just a note. All right, let's go.
Okay, moving on to OMG. Those blue book versions, the full ones, not the Weavers ones, are so much bigger in person than I thought they would be. I don't know why, I just thought they would be smaller. Um, I'm open on, I'll open on the side that doesn't have the writing, just in case I tear it. <laughs> I'm always worried about that. Oh no, it's stuck on one side. Oh, I got it. Okay, yay. <laughs> All right, let's check out the Weavers version of OMG. This is really cool, actually. I like this. This is fun. And last but not least, we have the message card versions of OMG as well, which are once again, a lot bigger than I thought they would be. I even read like the dimensions on Weavers before I purchased the six set. So I knew the size and how like large and awkward the message cards, like the things that the inclusions were gonna be. I knew they'd be this big, but it still surprised me when I got them. So let's go ahead and get started.
Okay, so this is what we're working with in terms of things that I now need to sleeve and put away. Um, so we have all of these from OMG. Um, is that in frame? Yes. Okay. Whew, I was worried. <laughs> and then these ones. are all these ones are all from their first EP these right there oh my gosh <laughs> okay and each of these has five or six cards in them the bag one has five the other ones all have six if you're including the ID card. Um, these ones each have ten, and then these ones each have five. So, <laughs> um, that's a lot of cards and a lot of sleeving to get done. So, I'm going to <laughs> um, not subject you to all of that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start doing that off camera and clip back in very shortly we can go ahead and start putting this away. I think I figured out a way to arrange it in my binder. I typically don't like, well, it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Let me go ahead and sleep these. Okay, we are back. <laughs> that took a long time and it's almost entirely my own fault because I was very particular about how I sleeved these. Um, I wanted to kind of have some semblance of organization to the sleeves that I used, and it was just a whole mess. So let's go ahead and store these, and I'll kind of go over my basic thoughts for why I'm storing them the way that I am uh, while I do it. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm going to put away... Let me zoom in while I do this, actually. All those might come back to bite me in a minute. <laughs> we'll have to adjust, potentially, momentarily. Um, what I'm going to do is the bag version of their first EP as the first cards I'm gonna put away. And what I'm gonna do for um, cards, like pages rather, I guess just should just say pages, is I'm going to do age order as I mentioned, I believe I mentioned, and I'm gonna leave the top middle one blank. Um, and then if there's a card that's not part of the set that's mostly on the page it will go in that top middle if there's something that needs to be a placeholder or whatever it will go there as well in this case the bag did not come with six cards it only came with one for each member so five total and i don't have a group card to put here yet but i might very soon so for now i'm just gonna put a white um photo card sleeve as a holder Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, now here's the thing that's kind of a bummer. I don't have enough of these pocket pages for the layout that I really want to do. Um, and it's not really, really a layout that I really want to do. It's simply that I typically don't like to use the backs of pages. Not because I like the backs of the cards to show, but simply because I don't like doubling up. However, these pages are meant to be double-sided. They do have a second side of pockets. Um, so I'm going to get a little creative for me. It's very basic for everyone else uh, with what I'm doing. So we are going to do the rest of one member in a two page spread. So for these cards, for example, for their first EP, they have their own blue book version, and then they also have one card from the New Jeans blue book version, and then they have six cards total from the three sets of Weverse versions that you could get at random. So I have these five from Minji's blue book, Minji from the New Jeans blue book, and then I have the two Minjis from the one set of the Weverse album that I pulled. <laughs> So let's go ahead and put all of the blue book Minjis on one page.
I'm gonna do it like this for now, kind of mix up the blues so they're like um, not directly all next to each other. And the only thing that I'm making sure to keep consistent um, on all of these pages with these blue book ones is the card that is from the new jeans blue book, the whole group one. Um, it has a different sleeve on it. I have these larger blossoms on these ones and all the ones from their personal blue books have the smaller blossoms. That's how I'm differentiating which one is which. And the one that's from the group, since it's the odd man out, is going to be at the top in the middle again, just like I mentioned on the first page. So this would be all of her cards from the blue books specifically. On this side, we will put her two cards that I already pulled from um, the Weaver's version. So let me zoom out just a touch. And this one is version C. So I'm gonna do A, B, and C. Um, I don't have rhyme or reason for where uh, each card from each version will go yet. So we're just gonna do one on top of the other here. Doesn't matter which is which. And then um, since I obviously know now what I pulled, I did go ahead while I was sleeving uh, these ones. Uh, I looked up how much it would cost for me to get the specific sets that I'm missing. Um, and I did go ahead and order them for both their first EP, this one, and OMG. So I should be getting those cards in, mm -hmm. I would say probably sometime within the next two weeks to three weeks. I do have some other things in uh, my little warehouse right now that I've ordered and some other things coming down the line. So I'm not quite sure when I'll ship them to myself. Um, but in the meantime, we're just gonna put some placeholders here. I'm not gonna fill them in because I can tell very clearly just because of the ease of setup, which, what is missing. Um, but this is this is the theoretical setup. So the bag version in the front with everybody, and then the blue book version, Weaver's version for each member. So Minji's first, and it'll continue to go down the line uh, for age order. So I will go ahead and speed through this, and then we'll talk some more once we get to OMG. Okay, so this should be everything that I currently have uh, for the first EP. So bag version, and then just a plain rainbow hollow sleeve on these. On the left hand side, the blue book photo cards, the larger album, specifically with the new jeans version card in the middle, and then surrounding it, the members version. A. B and C from their Weaver's versions. Um, I'll do a different hollow sleeve for A, B, and C. A will have kind of like a prism hollow, B will be a straight up plain rainbow hollow, uh, and C is this kind of like shattered gem look. Same thing here. Members blue book, new jeans blue book, A, B, C. 
throughout the entire section. And then we will start fresh doing basically the exact same thing for OMG. Um, they don't have an odd number of like card pages needed unless I count some of their pre-order benefits, which I don't currently own. I do have my eye on one particular set. Um, I'll let you guys guess which one that is if you want to. Uh, but I do have my eye on a set I might end up getting. We'll see how it goes. So let's go ahead and fill out OMG and then I have a couple of odd things to go in the back. One thing to note, similarly to what I did with the uh, member version versus the new jeans version with the first EP, I'm doing the same thing with my sleeves for OMG. So the I bought all those message cards. The one that's the new jeans message card has a very large star hollow, and the one that's the members has a very small star hollow. So once again, just for me, it differentiates which card is from which set, um, especially because I can't see the backs with this current setup since I didn't order enough pages. I do have more on the way, so I might change it in the future. I might not. We'll see how I like this. As I mentioned with the other Weaver's cards, the first column here will be A, then B, then C. A will have the prism hollow. B currently has this just pure rainbow hollow. And C will have that shattered gemstone look once it comes in. I do wish that I could get it a little bit better on camera where there's a little less glare and actually that the I wish the hollow was picked up a tiny bit less like I have so many bright lights going on these cards you almost like can't see it, it doesn't do the cards justice because it's you're picking up a lot of glare and a lot of hollow so I do apologize you're just gonna have to trust me that this looks really, looks really pretty in person <laughs> okay um going all the way to the back I do have some of the other things from the albums that I want to put away. Uh, so first and foremost, the ID cards that came with um, the blue book versions. I do want to put away, but because they're that really thick plastic material, I didn't necessarily want to put them away um, in between the first EP's photo cards and OMG. Uh, just in case there were, you know, any indentation issues, these sleeves, or I guess pocket pages rather, are a lot thinner than what I'm used to, so I was just kind of hesitant um, to do that. So we'll put them in the back here, and then we'll be able to see them in the back since we have a clear binder. So I think these are actually technically backwards in age order right now. In, hidden, Neil. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to go backwards. In, and yell. Check yes, this is funny. We'll put the group and Minji. Okay, and that way I'll still be able to see like something interesting on the back of the binder. So I thought that was perfectly fine as a compromise. Um, and then on this side, 
I'm just going to go ahead and put away, I know it's silly, um, but the photo card sleeve holders, I am going to put those in here. Um, they are not sleeved because they will already be a very snug fit on their own, but I did just want to uh, just keep them in here uh, just for giggles. Okay, and then last but not least, um, I do plan to take the lyric books and some of the inclusions, including the QR code cards, and displaying those in the back as well. Um, and the way that I'm going to do that is um, <laughs> not quite complete yet. I will need to get those couple of materials that I've ordered with those other sets that I um, purchased. Um, I mentioned a little bit earlier, but I can tell you the plan. So, for example, this was from set... C? Is that right? The very first one was C. Yes, C. So this card would go down here in this corner. Um, all of these ones are just going to be plain rainbow hollow. I'm not going to do anything crazy with the whole prism rainbow gemstone thing. And in the middle, we're going to put the new jeans card. And then the lyric booklet. I took and I folded it just open to like one of the back pages and I'm going to put one here and one here so it's like the full page spread but just split apart so that's the plan for this page for now I could also do the heart page that's right after this so once I get those other ones in I'll see what I like more and the other QR codes will go down here once I get them as well and then on this page, I'll do the same thing with uh, OMG and Ditto. However, I do personally like the Ditto um, artwork more. It's just more my style. So I'll have the Ditto cover up here in the center. And then inside the Ditto half of the lyric book, there are these little just really plain black and white hearts. So I'll open one to this side. And then there's one more at the end of the ditto lyrics in the very back there. So open to that one on this side. So that is my plan for these lyric books and the QR code cards. Once, goodness, help me. Once I get those in, um, they'll go in here as well. So that's the plan. Yay! Okay, I'm so pleased that this finally got done. I was very, um, I don't know, I was very, like, worried when I was just unboxing everything, just at the sheer volume. I don't know why I did not comprehend <laughs> that there's this much stuff, but there is. Um, I do have, as I mentioned, I think very briefly earlier, a plan for some of the larger inclusions that requires me to customize some pages into a bigger binder. Um, but I don't have those materials yet, so once I get them, I'll work on that, and that will probably be uh, several weeks from now, if not a month from now, uh, since I do have a couple of things that I have planned. But this is the collection, so let's do a super quick flip through of the entire thing silently to wrap up the video. Yay! All done! Okay, thank you so, so much for joining. Uh, I do hope that if you are thinking about collecting new jeans and just wanted to see all their inclusions, that this was helpful. Um, and if you are someone who just likes watching <laughs> unboxings and storings, I hope it was fun. Um, feel free to let me know some of your favorite new jeans things to collect that aren't from the albums because I'm so curious. Uh, and uh, hang around for more content if you want. I'll see you next time. Bye!